The care these children are being given is helping them to live their lives to the fullest. And providing high quality care to the youngest islanders is what Jersey Hospice Care are starting to work towards. There's no point reinventing the wheel um, and hospices are, as a whole are very willing to share the information and resources that they have. Um, and as such, we can learn not only what works well for them, um, but perhaps learn from things which haven't worked quite so well either. So with that in mind, I've come here to one of the hospices that staff from Jersey have visited to find out what hospice can learn about helping children and young people. Naomi House near Winchester has been helping children with life-limited and life-threatening conditions since 1997 and it's helped more than a thousand children and their families since. Jersey Hospice Care is just at the beginning of helping children in the island but what would be your message to them going on this journey? Well obviously it's our 21st birthday this year so uh, it's taken us 21 years to get to the place we're at now uh, so it's a long journey. I would say you need to take it in steps, you need to think about your goals along the way but mainly it's really good to know that you're looking at learning from other people. Well that's something that everyone here agrees on because providing care for children is more than making the environment child friendly. The adult hospice model is very much about symptom management and it tends to concentrate on the end of life aspect. Children's hospices have a longer relationship with the children and young people in their care because although they're very sick, they are sick for longer uh, and so we have a longer relationship with them. As children spend so much time here, everything is designed with them in mind. For example, this is the chapel, but there's also a screen over there that can turn it into a TV room and there's lights in the ceiling that means it's the perfect place to throw a party. And that fits with the hospice's ethos of having fun and making memories. And there's plenty of high-tech facilities to provide that. Children and young people regularly get to use the hydrotherapy pool. <laughs> And there's a state-of-the-art sensory room. We use it every day, especially as this type of equipment is so expensive. A lot of families can't afford to have it at home. So they come here and you can be completely immersed in the sensory environment. Um, we adapt it as well, so it can be a party room or it can be a story time at night. So children can come in here then for all sorts of things? Yes, definitely. We can have one-on-one -on -one sessions in here. We can uh, focus on just one piece of equipment, so complete darkness, adjust the bubble wall. That's really relaxing. This is a heated water bed, Very which nice. is one, one of our favourite things with staff as well, I think. <laughs> These are ideas that no doubt Jersey will want to take inspiration from for their future children's unit. Along with this, the Butterfly Room, a space where children can be brought after their death so families can say their final goodbyes. And here in the memory garden, the chaplain tells me how important the hospice is in helping parents come to terms with losing their children. It is devastating. It is absolutely devastating and people need support. And also a lot of our children have been in hospital, which, you know, th their job is, is to try and heal and to make people better. So to come somewhere like this, which is not a hospital, and provide support for the whole family, uh, I can only go on what people say, but the families who come here think they're really blessed because they've got access to the facilities we have. It will be years before Jersey sees a similar facility in the island. But if they can learn anything from Naomi House, it's that the best gift they can give children is to give them the space to be children for as long as possible.